French police have dismantled dozens of barricades blocking road access to New Caledonia's airport, but it could be days before visitors stranded by the unrest can get out. A political leader of the indigenous Canucks is calling for calm, but told News Hub France must back away from its plans to change voting rules if it wants the protests to abate. Investigations correspondent Michael Mora has the story. A ceremony at the airport to return the bodies of two police officers to Paris. It came as their colleagues worked to lift wreckage from the blocked highway. <laughs> French authorities say they removed 76 barricades on the road to the airport overnight, but since then, more roadblocks have been set up. We did not call for all this uh, violence. Uh, we've been calling for the roadblocks to stop. This is Jimmy Nauna, a political leader representing indigenous Kanak. The scenes unfolding in Newmere were sparked by moves in Paris to allow more French nationals in New Caledonia to vote. But Nauna says the wider context is failures of the decades-old Newmere Accord, a deal which came with promises of greater independence. Numer Accord, in some ways, did not fulfil the expectations of, of, of the local population, especially the youth. Add to that the social and economic crisis in Numer after COVID. What do Kanak want? Basically, what we want is clear, and we've been asking for this uh, since the 80s, is that we are given the right to self-determination and that we decide on our own future. Call for the, you know, and this uh, electoral reform to be suspended or to be you know, totally withdrawn. Around 250 New Zealanders are waiting to get out and are hoping our Hercules C-130 can get in. Well, the Defence Force is ready, willing to go, able to go. Uh, the issue is, is that we really do need to wait and work with the French authorities. The situation's becoming increasingly complicated for people like New Zealander Emma Roylands, who's at the local university. Today there was a little bit of a setback. The university had to cancel its distribution of food to the students. I assume it is that they can't get any trucks with food into the university. She says students were told today not to move outside the grounds due to shots being fired. A youth education block near the uni was recently targeted. It was burnt and broken into the night before last. Another 200 arrests were made last night, but France has acknowledged there's still many obstacles to overcome before order is restored. Michael Mora, News Hub.